What's going on guys? Welcome back to the Idle Income channel. If you're a blogger or content creator, you know that internal linking is an important aspect of your SEO strategy. Internal links not only help search engines understand the structure and hierarchy of your website, but also guide your readers to related content on your site as well. However, manually creating internal links could be a time-consuming and tedious task. That's where ChatGPT comes in. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use ChatGPT to generate internal links for your blog posts, saving you time and effort while improving your website's SEO. Let's get started. All right, so the first thing you're going to need is a blog post, obviously. So I just created this whole blog post with Koala uh, Writer, um, which is a pretty good tool. Uh, needs to be edited a little bit more. I'm not going to edit it for the purpose of this video um, because I only want to show you how to add internal links. So I created this whole blog post and we need to figure out based on the blog posts that we already have on our site, how to enter them into this post. And that could take a lot of time. I know a lot of people use Link Whisperer, but uh, I'm going to do something a little different. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy this whole entire blog post. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to enter in the blog post into chat GPT and we're going to use the model GPT-4. We're going to copy it. And now what we're going to do is we're going to add a prompt and the prompt is going to say, I have these blog posts I've written. I want to add them as internal links within my new blog post and do it being as natural as possible. I don't want to add words like check out this blog post. Add in anchor text that makes it natural and give me a list of exactly what section to add the text and where it should go. Here are the keywords. So now what you're gonna do is enter in all the keywords. You're gonna copy and paste them, go back to chat GPT, paste them in there, and then you're gonna hit enter. So here are the results for our prompt. It gives us a section, it gives us the anchor text, and it tells us exactly where to insert it um, and where to change the text up. So this section is how to build bigger biceps, tips and exercises for maximum growth. The anchor text is long-term strategy for increasing bicep size. And in the insertion sec section, it says in the first sentence, replace get bigger biceps with achieve a long-term strategy for increasing bicep size. As, as you can see, it closes off the section where the link should be added. It does the same thing for almost every section of the blog post. This is much better than adding in very broad internal links. Um, the last thing we want to do is add something like long-term strategy for increasing bicep size to get bigger biceps and do that over and over again just because of the fact that that's kind of spammy and Google may see that as spam. Now you could probably even take it a step further and tell ChatGPT to rewrite the post completely, change the text and add the links, but since this video is only an example and these aren't real posts, we don't have the links to do so. But that's it for this video. If you found it helpful and want to see more videos like this one, please subscribe.